What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. Um, today, first game after trade deadline, Mark Williams makes his first career start. Um, um, he played well. He had a double double, and um, you know, battling against Robert Williams, I think it was a good matchup for him. Um, you know, even matching up with Jason Tennant sometimes. Uh, overall, played thirty minutes. Uh, 11 points, 12 rebounds, a block. Um, he had four fouls, but, you know, you know that's something he's going to get accustomed to just with more playing time. Three for four from the free throw line. Um, he, he definitely showed some flashes, man. He definitely showed some flashes. Um, four for seven from the line. I'm happy for him, man. Like, this, this is the future right here. I feel like he's a walking double-double, even Nick Richards. Seven points and eight rebounds off the bench himself. I feel like they can honestly both be double double threats in the same game. Um, yeah, man. Um, Bryce McGowns played great in my eyes. He played great. Um, nine points, five rebounds. He, um, he, um, you know, he just performs versus the Celtics. Uh, last time against the Celtics, he had 10.6 rebounds, and then tonight he has nine and five. So, um, Happy for him, you know. He he gets tough buckets. He gets in ones, and he he just gets to the basket. Um, he is gonna be the main one getting Jalen McDaniel's minutes. That's what Steve Clifford said before the game. You know, uh, those minutes are gonna go to Bryce. So it just goes to show you that uh, you know he really did impress them in his short stints when he was playing earlier in the season. So you know, for them to move Jalen and like yeah, his minutes is going to Bryce. That's big. Um, Book Knight and Kai are still in Greensboro. Now we are on the road. Now, tomorrow, Saturday, we play the Nuggets at home. So it'll be interesting to see if we do recall Book and we do recall Kai. And if they do play, that will be interesting to see. And, um, you know, we'll see how much they play if they do play just because we were on the road. So it's not really an option to bring them from Greensboro to Boston, you know, but we'll see if they do rejoin the team tomorrow. Um, and, I mean, nothing, not much changed. JT Thor played nine minutes. He did the usual four points, one rebound, like I said in my video yesterday. Um, that's all JT's going to do, bro. Um, it just is what it is. He had a plus 10, plus minus, though, the highest on the team. He provides defense, man. But the scoring is just, it's just not there. Um Personally, I just like to see Kai at this point. If you give Kai ten minutes of playing time, he can do better than four and one. I just, I personally just feel like that. Um, yeah, it is what it is. PJ Washington had a pretty decent game, seventeen point seven rebounds. Um, he kind of came on later in the game, started knocking down some shots, trying to you know keep the team in it, and we ended up only losing by eleven. But at one point, we were down by like. 26 something something crazy um yeah man this game was just ridiculous um Derek White makes eight three-pointers it has 33 points Jason Tatum has 41 points he gave us 50 last time it just I don't know why the Celtics see the Hornets and just say you know what we need to destroy this team I don't know bro and the thing is, we played good defense on some of them shots. It just didn't matter. You know, we were there. We closed out. It didn't matter. If you hear my computer, I apologize, man. It's just it's just loud. Um, I am on the podcast. So, you know, if you want to listen to this on Spotify, you could do that as well. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, this this game, it was it was tough to watch at certain points. But, you know. That's that's how it's gonna be for the rest of the season, man. Especially as we transition to more and more young guys. Um, happy to see Bryce play. Um, happy to see Mark start. But you know we you know can we factor in Book and Kai? Now honestly, I'm not that high on Book at this point. It is what it is to me. I really don't care. But he still is a lottery pick. You have to give him a chance to see if he can do anything. He has to get a chance. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I mean, Dennis Smith Jr., he plays good defense, but you're like, okay, book, 
can you possibly take some of Dennis's minutes and, and do something with them? You know, something, something's got to give, you know, because there's still a lottery pick. You don't want to go to waste. And then Kai Jones, um, those minutes got to be available in the front court, obviously, after just trading um, McDaniels. I mean, P.J. Washington played 35 minutes tonight. Um, you know, we don't know if he's going to play that much that often every game. I don't know, man. This It's just going to be interesting to see how this team operates down the stretch. Because, I mean, Cody got a DMP tonight. Kelly got a DMP tonight, but they're not healthy. Um, and then Reggie Jackson was inactive because we haven't waived him yet. Civi was, you know, these guys, I didn't see them with the team either. I don't know. I, I really don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to cut those guys or what because I did not see them with the team. Maybe we'll see them tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know, man. But ultimately, we just couldn't stop them from making three-pointers, man. Um, the Celtics went 25 for 55 from three. That's 46% on 55 threes. They shot 55 threes and shot 46%, bro. We ain't stand a chance. Um I mean, the Hornets shot 35% from three. That's not good. Eight for 23. Like, they literally doubled doubled the attempts and doubled, damn near doubled the efficiency, you know. And we still had 116 points, you know. Hmm. If the Celtics weren't playing out of their fucking minds, we might have had a chance, you know. But they just couldn't fucking miss. They just really couldn't fucking miss. Um, yeah, man. I'm tired, bro. It's late as fuck. This video, it probably isn't going to be too long. Because, I mean, it's not much to say. Gordon Hayward. I really want to shut Gordon down for the rest of the year. I don't want to see this man play basketball, bro. Um, Gordon Hayward, 30 minutes, 8 points, 6 assists, 2 steals, 2 rebounds. But, I mean... I don't want to watch Gordon have eight points, bro. Like, I don't care about this shit, bro. Like, you might as well just shut him down. I don't want to see this shit, bro. I really don't. Like, we need to do Gordon Hayward like the Rockets did John Wall a few years ago. Like, bro, we don't need you. We don't need you to play, bro. Now, John Wall, with him, did he have the talent to play? Yes, it's just the Rockets are in a totally different di direction as a team. I don't need to see Gordon Hayward play basketball for this team. I really don't. Like, send him home, bro. For the rest of the year, go into this summer and see if you can offload him as an expiring contract. Because nobody's going to take Gordon Hayward on at the deadline this year. Because, you know, that's still cap space now. And then next year, well, if you trade him in the summertime, he's he's going to be viewed as an expiring deal at the end of this season. So summertime, he's going to be an expiring deal. You might be able to trade him then. But I really just don't want to see Gordon Hayward play basketball for real. Um, Yeah. Anyways, P.J. Washington, 17 points, 7 rebounds, um, a negative 17 plus minus. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and like I said, you know, he came on later on in the game trying to will us back, but for the most part, he wasn't really doing too much. Uh, Mark already talked about him, 11 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, a block. And he had a steal, too. For some reason, they didn't give him a steal. Maybe they counted it as an offensive rebound. But, you know, it, like, I think it was Grant Williams, maybe. He had got a rebound, and then Mark Williams took it from him and dunked it. To me, that's a steal. Um, but I don't know. Um, yeah, he only had a negative three plus minus, which is pretty good considering uh, how everybody else just looks. Um, Terry Rozier, 9 for 20. He always plays good versus the old team. 45% from the field. Like, that's good for Terry. 3 for 8. 37%, 38%, however you want to look at it. 6 for 9 from the free throw line, that could be worked on. But um, 27 points and 0 turnovers for Terry Rozier is what I'm looking at. And the 3 steals. Um, you know, I I did want to trade Terry, but I wasn't like, oh my god, we have to trade Terry, like, get the fuck off the team, oh my god. At the end of the day, Terry can give you 20-something points on any given night. And... You know, the him and the Lamelo backcourt defensively, it's ass. But I mean, he 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 can produce. He can produce. So it is what it is. Um, Lamelo nine for twenty two, forty percent. 
And uh, two for seven from the field, man. My computer is so fucking loud. I apologize. Uh, 28% from three for LaMelo, man. And uh, lately, this kind of how it's been, man. Just not not efficient. Not efficient games coming from LaMelo lately. Um, but he still puts up 24 and 10 and nine rebounds. It's just one rebound shot from a triple-double. Um, he has five turnovers and four fouls, you know. I mean, LaMelo definitely has things that he can work on, man, for sure. Um, and a negative 21 plus minus just goes to show you, you know, numbers and everything. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, that number speaks for itself. Um, kind of by far the worst plus minus on the team. Um, JT Thor already talked about on four points, one block, one rebound, two turnovers. I don't know how he has a plus 10, plus minus, but he does. <laughs> In 10 minutes. Um, Dennis Smith Jr., 3 for 9 from the field, 33%. 1 for 3 from the field, 33%. He's just not efficient, man. Like, Dennis is not efficient. I mean, even from the free throw line, you shoot 50%. You know, the book can't do that. I mean, we, you know, they made every fucking shot anyway. How much are we focused on defense? I mean, I mean, might as well give these minutes to book if this is what Dennis Smith is going to do. I mean, he still had nine points and three assists, but, you know, the two steals in the block is really impressive, to be honest. Like, you know, it's the defense with Dennis Smith Jr., but he's just not a bucket, bro. Like, he, he, he can't shoot for shit. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I feel like if Book Knight starts getting minutes, it's going to come from Dennis Smith Jr. Um, yeah. Plus three, plus minus, though, which is the best. No, second best on the team, Bonje T. Thor. Nick Richards, seven points, eight rebounds. Um, I know some people are mad at him because, you know, he missed a few rebounds or whatever. But ultimately... You know, Nick played a pretty good game. He hasn't played in a while. You know, you got to get back into the, the swing of things as far as playing goes. Um, and I feel like he'll be fine down the stretch. And I feel like him and Mark can both be double-double threats, man. I, you know, I really do like the Mark and Nick rotation. And, you know, I want to see Mark shoot threes, bro. I want to see Mark shoot threes. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. And last but not least, Bryce McGowns already talked about him. Nine points, five rebounds, negative 10 plus minus, but only one foul, only one turnover for a rookie playing, you know, 21 minutes, first time in a long time, having extended minutes, and you only have one foul and one turnover. That's a promising sign. Um, and he, he did have an air ball. He air balled a three. But he remained aggressive. He didn't let that break his confidence. He didn't hang his head. He kept he kept shooting. Um, and that's what I want to see from Bryce because, you know, we see the offensive talent, even the defensive talent. Um, now, he doesn't have any steals and blocks. But if you watch Bryce, he moves his feet, man. Like, he, he knows how to guard. Um, and, you know, for me, it's just watching him and his confidence because oftentimes, at least earlier in the year, or le and even just a few games ago when he was kind of like getting a few minutes, um, when he got the ball, you know, maybe a pump fake and he just swings the ball, you know, and that's something that we saw a few of the young guys doing earlier in the year because you're scared to mess up because you know if you do have, if you do have a bad game you're probably gonna go to Greensboro or you're just gonna stop playing. So, you know, I feel like it caused some of these kids to play scared, but now they're like, they, they can spread their wings. So we see them being a little bit more aggressive. Even JT saw him be a little bit more aggressive today. So when it comes to Bryce, just keep that aggressiveness and confidence and he'll be fine, man, because he, he's a stud, bro. He's a stud. He's going to be good for us. He's going to be good for us. I really do like Bryce McGowan's. Anyways, I'm at 14 minutes, man. I'm about to wrap this up because I'm honestly sick of hearing this fucking computer in my ear, bro. Um, right back at it tomorrow against the Denver Nuggets. So uh, that will be a true test for our centers, you know, going up against Jokic. 
MVP center. We'll see how Mark and Nick can hold up against him. Because that's that like I said, that's gonna be a true test. Um tonight the Celtics had no Al Horford. Um so yeah, that's gonna be the true test tomorrow night. But anyways, I'll see y'all then. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you already subscribed, turn the notification bell on so y'all can see when I drop bangers and when I go live. I did go live tonight in the first half. So, you know, if you're ever just watching the game and you want to share the experience with somebody, man, stay tuned to the YouTube channel and join the live, man. Just, you know, kick it and watch the game with us, bro. We be in there just chatting, chilling, having a good time, bro. So, yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow, mate, man. Peace.